Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand I/O bound process and CPU bound process. The concept of degree of multiprogramming has already been explained in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, what is I/O bound process and CPU bound process? The process which spends more of its time in doing I/O operations than doing computations is called as I/O bound process. Similarly, uh, CPU bound process means the process which spends more of its time in doing computations than I/O operations is what we call it as CPU bound process. So the definition looks very simple. So we'll try to understand these definitions by using this uh, example, this uh, standard example that we have been following in the last 10 videos. So let's take two processes. Uh, let's assume that this is process one and pre process two. For example, assume that this process one is having 10 instructions. So, out of these 10 instructions, if 8 of the instructions are doing I.O. operations, so 8 of the instructions are doing I.O. operations, so then this process P1 is what we call it as I.O. bound process, process which spends most of its in doing, most of its time in doing I.O. operations. So, out of uh, 10, uh, 8 out of 10 are doing I.O. operations, so this, this process is what we call it as I.O. bound process. So, this process is bound to do I.O. operations than computations. So, other than the I.O. operations means it is going to do the computations on the CPU. So, then the, the other kind of uh, process is CPU bound process. For example, if this process P2 is having 10 instructions and out of 10, if 8 or 7, so for example, assume that 7 instructions. So, if out of 10, if 7 instructions are, uh, are uh, based upon the computations, so then that then that process is going to be called as CPU bound process. It means that so most of the instructions are bound to the CPU. So most of the instructions will get executed on the CPU. So that is what we call it as CPU bound process. So the concepts look very simple, but the very important point to understand is so in the next videos, we are going to discuss about schedulers there we have to so the schedulers will work in such a way so that for example so uh, what the schedulers will do is for example if there are pool of processes in the new state so for example uh, in the new state there are 10 different processes so uh, out of these 10 processes the scheduler has to pick the processes in such a way there should be a mix of IO, IO bound processes and CPU bound processes so for the bit efficient utilization of the resources of the computer so we have to make a mix of io bound process and cpu bound processes so if you don't take it in that way if the scheduler does not work in that way what happens is for example if there are 10 processes if all the 10 processors uh, if, if the process is going to pick out of which there are 8 io bound processes so if the scheduler picks all the 8 io bound process at a single stretch so then what happens More most of the processes will be there on the IO operations. So it will take lot amount of time and the CPU time will get wasted. So the scheduler, so we in order to in order to better utilize the resources of the computer of a system, we have to pick the processes the uh, we have to identify the uh, processes we have to take the mix of io bound process and cpu bound process so anyway we are going to we, are, we will deeply discuss about this concept when we are going to discuss about schedulers so this is all about io bound process and cpu bound process hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching